Hello gamers, geeks, and gays. My name is Sturx. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. I still haven't really recovered from the last episode. And that's being 100 percent honest. Um I know it's not over yet. I know we've got plenty of things to see. We've got plenty of things to do. But I now have that in the back of my mind. It's like this game teaches you very early on that the end is okay. That it's okay to have a certain amount of time to deal with that, to be productive, to do what you want to. And now it's brought it all crashing down around me and I'm still trying to process that and trying to figure out what to do with that information. And that's okay. It's okay. This is going to end at some point in the next few weeks, probably. We're going to have to part ways. And that's okay. It's going to be okay. In the meantime, we have things to see. We have things to explore. I have more lore to find. I'm not going to let some know my from 400 years ago dictate what I want to do with my time. That being said, this episode is entirely dictated by Nomai 400 years ago because we're going to go and find the vessel. It does mean we're going to have to go back to the Dark Bramble. It means I'm going to have to face my fears once again. We're going to have to avoid the anglerfish. I think I know how to find it, we're going to have to use the signal scope, we're going to try find the vessel, we're going to try find that last escape pod, and we're going to find the, the birthplace of our Nomai. They, they probably weren't born there, some of them maybe, I don't know how long they were on the vessel, but we need to go there. I need to see this, I need to see where they came from. So, we need to go and face Sturx's fears. And we're going to do it together again. And hope. Actually, no, I, I don't hope. I was going to say, and hope that I can see it all in this one episode. But I might not be able to. I don't know how big the vessel is. I genuinely don't know. That's actually quite interesting. I, I, I know next to nothing about the vessel. Other than the Nomai came here on it. That's never going to get old. That's never going to get old. I... You guys know. You know, you've watched close to 30 episodes now. You know my thoughts. You know how much I love this game. And I think now it's nice that we're kind of settling. I don't know how you guys feel, but for me it's quite nice to be able to settle into this... Quiet. You know, there's still chaotic bits. I'm still an absolute nutcase. But I feel like now I don't have to articulate exactly what I'm thinking at every given moment. I feel like you you guys know. You know. You know that I know. That being said, I think I'm probably going to be articulating very clearly how I'm going to feel in a moment. I do not like this place. I really don't like this place. But we're going to have to go in. We need to find the vessel. And that means listening to that wailing. Oh boy, here we go. That's going to get old pretty quick, but I think we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Just, just close your eyes. Pretend it's something nice. Okay, I'm glad it's not... I'm glad it's not the red one. I'm guessing the red one is bad. You know, I'm guessing red is danger. What is the red? I need to know what's in the red. Do I want to know what's in the red? I don't actually know. Because there's no obvious signal coming from the red, but it is there. As a lure. Which is strange for me. 
I don't know, maybe that's something we're going to have to find sometime, follow the red. Depends how brave I'm feeling, I guess. Oh. This place freaks me out. But isn't that beautiful? Holy Christ. Don't know why I'm biting my lip. Like a pug. Oh, come on. This one looks weird. This is a different color. Oh, no. Oh, hell. Oh. Okay, that's a rock. I think I can deal with a rock. Oh, it's somewhere over there. It's somewhere out here. I really hope I don't get just like clapped. By that rock that's spinning round off to our left, off to the port side. That'd be unfortunate. Is the red maybe the vessel? Maybe we're going to the distress beacon. We're going to the. Is that what the red is? Maybe. But. Oh, this is awful. I... I played some horror games in my life, right? This... is taking the cake for being possibly the most uncomfortable. It's not really a horror game, but I would say Dark Bramble is a horror game. Especially if you have any amount of Dallasophobia. They are definitely know my lights. Hello, you beauty! Oh, boy. This is something else. All right, let's match velocity. Put that away before it drives me up the goddamn wall. Right. Pre flight checklist. Hang on, wait. Pre flight checklist. Did I. Yeah, I, I ticked. I unticked that because I, I don't really like using it. But at the end of last episode, there was no way in hell I was letting that just kind of go, you know? Okay. Do I want to go in here? Do I want to know? Seca. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, Await rescue. Eskel. Second, is this message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing faint, so it will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. I think the vessel might just be the red that we've been following. Or not following. We haven't been following the red. Vessel has been mortally injured. This is the same as the other. Propulsion error. Scanning external environment scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile verdict. Do not exit pod. 
And they went and did it anyway. The indomitable spirit of the Nomai. Din. These are all new people. This is fantastic. There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons. Then the decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lies as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pods distressing. Us. Years too late. Do I want to fire this? Is this going to win? Oh, I guess we're doing it this way. Oh. Ah. I sure hope there's no anglerfish inside this area. Oh, I will actually cry. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place. But now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from in this thorny sea. That the opening is too small for even a single nomai to fit through. So our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to manipulate space itself. Perhaps this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we'll be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now, but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. I am so sorry. There's no way we can fit in there either. That is looking red. Oh no, wait, there's the red. Wait! She's there. She's there. It's red. It's red. I knew it. I knew it. Quietly, quickly and 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 quietly. I knew it, we need to get there. For them. For Seca and Din. There we go, made it. Cool. We have our heading. It's not that far away. That's okay. Where's all this rock coming from? I've not seen rock in here before. No.
We're gonna have to move. Seal. Oh. 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 We made it. We made it. We made it. Shh. Hush, shush, shush, shush. Hush, shush, shush, shush. Hush, shush, shush, shush. Hush, Look at it. It's beautiful. Please tell me this is the way. There's so many of them didn't make it. So many didn't make it. I mean, none of them made it. I know you. Wait. Is this a choice? I have a choice? To any know my clans whose vessel can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. You can reach the gloaming galaxy. We found that Black Rock suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kind of, we're making it our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromag. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to the vessel, but they never arrived and he hasn't sent any message. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskol. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskol's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskol's clan existed, and the story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true? Here's up. It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskol's clan for a long time, but in the end, None of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Yet. Hissop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskol's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our war. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kanna. 
and relieve your kindness safely. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars. Which is most of them now. How do I find this place again afterwards? I feel like it's going to take ages to get back here if we need to come back. This is Eskol's vessel. Something went... This is Eskol's vessel! Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mostly wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Oh, I thought these were two different ships. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of this vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. We were abandoning our vessel. Any know my clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you. We need your help. It's broken. Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. My god. What happened? Warp core is dead. So I'm guessing without that, the ship's out of power. And without power, it's not a great deal this thing's able to do. I'm recording this now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Escort, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send a message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. And we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant job. Afterwards, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to jump. I'm not ready. We just got here. I just got here. And what a place this is. I'm going to need to come back here. I, I, I need to. I know I do. I know it wants me back here. I know I have a choice. I have a choice. Don't make me do this. Don't make me choose this. But I know it's going to. I know it is. Would I give it all up for knowledge? 